So good morning, everyone. I hope you've had a good morning so far. Today, we are going to be looking at some number fun activities. Turk is a nonprofit organization in Cambridge, Massachusetts, with staff all over the US and Canada. And we are dedicated to improving how we teach and learn science and mathematics. Two, four, six. You stand by two. And 13 is an odd number. Visualized teaching is a professional development model in which coaches and teachers learn mathematical argumentation together. First, they participate in a workshop in the summer focusing on helping them learn a new skill, which is mathematical argumentation for themselves. Teachers need an opportunity to really dive in, learn what it means, make mathematical arguments themselves, figure out what a conjecture is, what a justification is. After they've learned that for themselves, we support them through a model in which coaches and teachers do cycles of coaching in the school year. They first visualize a lesson, and that's kind of like planning, but a little bit more like what athletes do. They imagine what their students might say or do, and how they will guide the students in doing argumentation. Then the teachers teach a lesson, they video record themselves, then after the classroom is done, they watch the video, they annotate the lesson, and then they meet with their coaches again to reflect on what happened. And in those cycles, teachers learn to see which particular teaching moves were more successful or less successful in getting youth to make arguments. Lots of good talking going on among the students here. I was here. very impressed. They did a great job. I got involved with the Visualized Teaching Program because my department head was really excited about bringing new things and tools to our school. And we saw this as a great opportunity to help teachers with being able to make more student-led classrooms and really explore the content. The visualization step was really important for me because working with my coach, I was able to sit down kind of in the seat of a student and really think through the lesson and do the math with her. But then also big picture vision, thinking about what kind of teacher moves do I want to make? What kind of questions do I want to ask? What do I anticipate my students doing? Problem solving those before I actually teach the lesson. Well, right now, what numbers have you really only explored? One through 40. So take your pattern and can you extend it where it could be a conjecture for all numbers? The debrief after the lesson is one of my favorite parts of this process because working with my coach, she's able to bring new insight that maybe I miss. Yeah, they were into this, mm -hmm. like trying to make these big ideas. I love being able to also set goals with her. How can I grow for the next lesson? And then also for my students, how do I want them to grow? The debrief session helps equity and inclusion because it gives the teacher a wider lens of what's really happening in the classroom beyond what they're able to see during their active teaching. It helps us to pinpoint some situations where maybe a struggling student was engaged or not engaged and helps us reflect more on the teacher moves that we could set as goals to help with that engagement. I also heard a lot of precise language and vocabulary, so give yourself a pat on the back. Okay. The Visualized Teaching Program supports marginalized students and students who are traditionally not thought of as being mathematicians by encouraging discourse practices through argumentation lessons. We want students to voice their take on what the answer should be. And there are no factors to 13 other than one in itself. Perfect, okay. We also want students to be able to talk with each other and we encourage the teachers to provide different questions so that students are responding to questions, but also students learn how to ask questions. Where would prime numbers go? Trillion is also a Okay, so what, would num what numbers would be in between a million and trillion? We have diversity in terms of students with learning needs who participate in these classrooms because they can engage with the activities. Students who speak a different language are encouraged to use their own language. The work that we do is drawing on the strength of the students as opposed to having students thinking that we teach students one way. I would recommend Visualized Teaching Program to other schools because it's changed me as an educator. I feel like I've taken the pressure off myself to always be the one that's leading the classroom and allowing my students to engage in conversation and own their learning. 
kids come from diverse backgrounds and some kids come from a family who was just not good in math. And so when they come in, they already are defeated before they even begin the first problem. And something like this proves to students that they can. It shows them that, yes, you can be wrong, but let's process through it and see, can we justify it? It was very exciting for me to hear coaches who said, I want my teachers to ask the questions. I don't want to be the one telling them what to do. And the teachers were a little awestruck because they were depending on the coach as the students depend on the teacher to tell them what to do next. And that's what we really want to do is to empower people to feel that they can ask these questions and that their opinions are valued and valuable. Thank you guys for being risky and brave and coming up and sharing your work with us. Thank you.